Hi everyone, welcome to Nutrifil You. I'm Dr. Lahari. I'm a nutritionist and a wellness consultant. Today I want to talk about life cycle nutrition and this is going to be the first video of the series of life cycle nutrition. And I want to start with the very first step of life cycle nutrition which is pregnancy. So what are the changes that happen in the body and what kind of foods you need to take during pregnancy and what are the foods that you need to avoid during pregnancy. All these things I would like to cover in this video. To start off with, during first trimester of pregnancy, a lot of changes that happen inside the body are invisible. However, they are very important and happening. Although you don't see the changes, the person who is pregnant can actually feel the changes. The first thing being, the change or difference in the level of uh, all the hormones that are going to change a person's uh, you know, emotional state of mind or physically how well they feel or how down they feel emotionally uh, all these things depend on change in hormones as well apart from that there is also minor change that is happening in the tissues of the body to support growth of the fetus for the next few weeks which is a full term pregnancy is 40 weeks the first trimester is from week 1 till end of week 12 or week 13 depending on which country you are in so during these first few weeks most women don't even realize they are pregnant till at least completion of 6th or 7th week but by 6th or 7th week a lot of development has happened in the fetus and this development is particularly important because that is when uh, there is a chance of some of the nutritional deficiencies causing irreversible damage so what needs to be taken care of in case of uh, you know women of childbearing age is that you should take care of your diet even before you decide to get pregnant few important nutrients are folate and b12 if there is deficiency of these two nutrients there can be irreversible damage in fetal development that can cause neural tube defects and some other developmental disabilities happening in the fetus so to avoid this even before pregnancy every woman who is in uh, you know the childbearing age ideally should be taking at least 400 to 600 milligrams of folate from different sources of food so where does folate come from your sources of folate mainly are different kinds of fortified cereal grains like these mucilies or uh, you know different kinds of uh, corn flakes and all those things available in the market those are fortified however make sure whatever sources you are getting it from are not high in calories and sugar the other naturally occurring good sources are leafy vegetables leafy vegetables are very good source of folate so try to include leafy vegetables as much as you can even before you plan to get pregnant so that you can avoid deficiency of folate then b12 sources b12 mostly comes from dairy foods or non-vegetarian or animal based foods the very few uh, sources from which we can get b12 in case of uh, vegans however uh, supplements can also be used sometimes so what i suggest is even if you are thinking of getting pregnant probably talk to a nutritionist or talk to a doctor talk to a gynecologist and then get yourself prenatals even before you think of conception then that prenatals should continue throughout the pregnancy what are the other nutrients that are important you know we just talked about the importance of folate and b12 in the first six weeks and within the first three months or first 12 weeks or end of 13th week first trimester there are other nutrients that are equally important first one being iron apart from folate of course so iron uh, need for iron also increases during this time because there is a lot of uh, new blood vessel formation and also increase in volume of blood that is happening so when there is new blood right you also need new or more amount of hemoglobin which is necessary to transport oxygen to all the tissues so when you need hemoglobin what is the component of hemoglobin that is most important you need iron 
so the iron is extremely important iron sources are important in case if you are somebody who is deficient in iron you need to pick up the iron levels before you complete the first trimester itself for that you may have to use supplementation you may have to increase the iron sources of food but luckily the foods that are high in folate the ones that we talked about your green leafy vegetables are usually rich in iron as well and other rich sources of iron is a little bit of organ meats different kinds of non vegetarian products especially red meat and also liver of uh, goat or liver of chicken to an extent they all contribute to the iron in case of vegetarians uh, we also have different kinds of lentils whether it is chickpeas or uh, garbanzo beans or even uh, cow peas different kinds of kidney beans all these also contribute to iron that is required for the body then the next nutrient is calcium calcium requirement per se is not increased during pregnancy but it is if you think of what happens during pregnancy right there are literally new set of bones being formed right so you would need this extra calcium what happens if you don't take enough calcium during pregnancy it just goes from your own body stores which will put you at risk for different kinds of bone related issues after delivery so this is very important although calcium you don't need to take excessive calcium during pregnancy make sure you are meeting the calcium needs by taking calcium rich foods milk and uh, dairy products it can be yogurt it can be curd it can be paneer or it can be different kinds of cheeses you need to include consumption or you need to include these food groups definitely in your diet apart from this what happens during first trimester of pregnancy is because of increase in hormones estrogen and progesterone your ability to digest foods goes down a little bit so you really start having constipation and also heartburn this heartburn is also because sometimes the food that is there in the stomach is not emptied very quickly because of presence of these beautiful pregnancy hormones it just comes up which is the reason for heartburn so to avoid this kind of symptoms of heartburn or you know irregular digestion and constipation one way to handle that uh, especially with the heartburn one way to handle that is start taking smaller meals at more frequent intervals instead of having a heavy breakfast heavy lunch and heavy dinner why don't you split your breakfast into two parts have small portion of breakfast give about 2 hours of time have another portion of breakfast and then give a couple of hours of time so you can split your meals still take enough calories to support you through the first trimester and to avoid constipation start increasing the fiber content of the food that you're taking and this constipation is going to stay with you throughout the pregnancy so make sure you are used to eating a lot of fibrous vegetables as well as grains and pulses there are no non vegetarian sources of fiber i am sorry so even if you are a staunch non vegetarian you have to start eating more vegetables and grains during pregnancy and especially during the first trimester so that you are used to it as you progress into the pregnancy apart from all these things during first trimester of the pregnancy i want to emphasize on change in weight a lot of my pregnant clients usually are concerned that they are not gaining any weight and sometimes even losing weight during first trimester of pregnancy let me assure you this is actually quite common not the weight loss part but usually most people really don't need to gain any weight or need to gain very minimum weight during first trimester of pregnancy and the weight gain as little as just half kg to 1 kg by end of first trimester itself is good progress provided you are at the right weight at the beginning of the pregnancy if you are underweight at the beginning of the pregnancy itself the first trimester weight gain goals would be a little higher this needs to be personalized based on where you are starting so uh, i cannot offer a generalized advice on that part but uh, you know to summarize this discussion during the first trimester of pregnancy include more leafy greens so that you get a little bit of iron all the folate you need and include dairy products so that you can get your b12 
and also the calcium that is needed and increase your protein intake you don't need to increase uh, you know start taking protein supplements or anything but make sure you are eating good protein sources whether it is from animal sources or plant sources like lentils and all inclusion of lentils nuts and seeds in your diet as long as you take care of these you don't need to dramatically increase your calorie intake during the first trimester of pregnancy i'll be giving you more information on what to do during second trimester of pregnancy like what happens during second trimester and also what kind of foods you need to take what kind of changes to expect what kind of foods to avoid and also maybe few tips on the kind of activities that you can do and need to avoid during second trimester of pregnancy in the next video if you like the content please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel please comment all the other nutrition health and wellness related topics you want to know more about for more such content follow me on facebook and instagram as well